Oh yeah, I'm gonna wake up at my at my alarm at 6 a.m. It's 9:27 and the vlog isn't even uploaded. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's uploaded. I just didn't actually. Oh no, 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 no! I'm late. I can't believe I've done this. Uh, okay, Sarah's called. Oh. I literally just like rushed out of bed, tired. There's still sleep on my face. Help me. Okay, y'all. We go, we go, we go, we go figure it out in a minute. Okay, it's up. I still. I need to pee. <laughs> I still need to fix this. I gotta wash clothes. I also need to go to the grocery store because. I also gotta get prep for tomorrow. Why is just every day just prepping for the next day? What is this buffoonery? And I still can't play my Nintendo Switch because I can't play it today because I'm gonna be busy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to play it tomorrow. Actually, you know, I know I won't be able to play it tomorrow. I might be able to open it and charge it and download the game, but that's it. <laughs> Let's go figure out life. Okay, I brush my teeth. Didn't wash my face, but it's okay. I got a lot to do before I leave, all right? I gotta wash clothes. I need to go grocery shopping. I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I need to figure out what time I gotta leave. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do to this face. A lot of things I gotta figure out, okay? And also, I gotta get stuff prepped for tomorrow. I'm not gonna tell y'all yet, but it's stuff I gotta get prepped for tomorrow. I gotta make a plan for tomorrow. Child, my camera said shut up and just do what you need to do. All right, first things first, we go put these clothes in the washer, then I'm gonna go wash my face. Um, and then I'm going to just do a lot of self-talk in my head and figure out what we're going to do next, Sarah. We got to, oh, you know what? I'm going to wash clothes. I'm going to wash my face. Then I'm going to eat the rest of the, the ramen because I am hungry. All right, that's what we're going to do. Let's get it done. So there is a reason why I needed to wake up at 6 a.m. Not only because I just need to get this sleeping schedule you know, right, but, um, yeah, there's people washing clothes. All the dry, all the washers are being used right now. So, it says they have about, like, 14 minutes left on the machines, but, uh, I doubt someone's gonna come in 14 minutes and get their clothes, so, I'm gonna go ahead, wash my face, and then, I'm gonna eat, so that should definitely give them more than enough time to get their clothes. I'm gonna, I can put my clothes in, but you know, if I have to, then I could just save it for tomorrow. There's, I don't think there's anything in there that I need. No, I mean, there's probably something in there that I probably would need today. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Oh, um, I'm almost out. I'm almost out, yes. Why is my eye cream not in here? It's probably still in my room, dang it. Also, my roommate is gone for pretty much the whole week. So I have to take care of her cats, which y'all have seen. But I never formally introduced y'all. So I might do that later today. But I have to take care of her cats as well. Um, I mean, it's not much I have to do, but it's like, uh, another thing on my list I have to do. Okay. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be distressed if I didn't agree to go to this thing, like, last minute and i did so <laughs> but the opportunity was presented to me last minute so but i also could just be like no you know i have stuff to do and i want to relax but also at the same time it's like i need to meet people or like experience things so yeah anyways i'm about to go eat because then if i don't i'm gonna just say screw it and not do anything um so, let's go get this ramen. I didn't think they would both be here. Hey, wait, did, 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 Milo. Anyways, this is Milo. This is Daisy. He's very clingy to his mommy. And she could care less. Daisy and Milo, everybody. Yeah, when I said I ate some last night, I meant to say I ate most. <laughs> That's what's left. All right, it looks like I'm not gonna be washing clothes today because I just went to go put my clothes in the washer. And whoever got their clothes, I guess either they put more clothes in or um, someone else is right behind them. I don't know. 
I'm annoyed. I'm not about to be fighting like all day trying to like figure this out. So I'm not washing clothes. And it also just doesn't make sense that there's only two washers and two dryers for this complex. Like there's a lot of people who live here. Why is it only two? Anyways, once again, this problem wouldn't this wouldn't be a problem if I just would have got up at six. Cause there's usually not people washing clothes at six in the morning. Or honestly four. Which I'm that's probably when I'm gonna wash my clothes tomorrow. Is at four. So anyways, I'm gonna be eating this protein bar because that ramen was obviously not enough. Um but since since I'm not going to be washing clothes right now, I'm probably going to get ready to go to the grocery store. I need to figure out my lift, and I need to figure out where I need to go. Um, there's one grocery store I'm not going to go to because I still need to go there tomorrow anyways. Because there's not much room in the freezer, and I need to get a big thing. Well, it's like, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just... I might as well just wait. Um, until the day I'm actually gonna make it so you know we should probably figure out the outfit because we figure out the outfit that might change my mind on if I do need to change change not change clothes oh my clothes figure out the outfit for tonight because that uh I don't know I'm gonna eat this though I don't know what is with me and like doing stuff like last minute I mean I've done it most of my life but you know it started to get very annoying at least to me um so yeah, I knew I needed to wash clothes because I wanted to wear my dang sweater, but I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to wear. You know what? I'm just gonna be that person that looks like she went to work or got off of work or something. You know what, at least this outfit would actually be helpful because it is cold outside. Uh, where are the pants? Anyway, it's like 12.40 and I still haven't left to go to the grocery store. Um, I was making my list. Where did my hands go? Okay. But I was making my list, checking it twice, seeing what I need to throw out. Because I actually got to throw out some stuff. But yeah, I'm going to just go to one grocery store. I'm going to go to Aldi. Um, the other grocery store that I need to go to that I luckily live very close by. I'm going to go tomorrow because, once again, the big thing, I want to, when I buy the big thing, I want to cook it like the same day, so. Well, I wouldn't necessarily be cooking it the same day, but it's like, it needs to be prepped the same day I buy it. Anyway, this is going to be an all black fit. I did not pick out what I was going to wear to, um, to the thing. My plan is to, you know, leave, go to the grocery store, be very efficient. At Aldi. I got a quarter in here, right? Okay, cool. Got my quarter. But yeah, go to Aldi. Be very efficient in what I'm trying to purchase. Okay, that's what happened. You was laying in girl day. Um, and then I want to get ready by like 2 o'clock. No later, no later than 2.30. Like doing my hair and makeup. Um, but I still got to figure out what I'm going to wear. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get change. I think I'm gonna bring her with me to the stove. Let's go to the stove. Every time that I see, oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I was just gonna wrap y'all up. Can you tell that they still low-key don't like me? I'm sorry, buddy. Do you want to get wrapped? Your sister left, so it'll be easier for me to wrap you. That was a no. Okay. Let me continue to get ready on my clothes. So this is the outfit. Cute. Look at the back. Oh. There we go. Look at the back. I just have on a sports bra. But yeah, this is a fit. Oh, and then the pants. But this is the fit that I would use to wear to Ulta like all the time because it was like super comfy and stuff like that. But I got this, the pants and the shirt from Walmart. Like a long, like, not a long time, about like a year ago. I don't remember her YouTube channel, but it was somebody who was doing a Walmart haul. And I was like, oh, I need this outfit. And I got like two dresses that was from her. The gray one that I sized down quite a bit. Yeah, also from her video. But yeah, I really like this shirt. I like the sleeves. Um, This is not supposed to be a peplum top, like a visible peplum. But I'm visibly fat, so like... 
you can't see it. I don't even like peplums anyway, so good on me, I guess. Also, I think Milo is mad not only because I got close to him, but also because his mom is on. Um, he turns into a different cat when his mom is on because, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go. Where's my purse? But this purse is also from Walmart. That's crazy. Walmart was eating us for a little bit. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go because it's 12.52. <laughs> so, I mean, I have enough time to shop. I don't live that far. I'm going to get an Uber. Um, and, I mean, I buy, like, the same things anyways. So, I'm not going to be browsing. Oh, I need to bring a plastic bag because I need to buy flour. Where did the plastic bag go? Girl, it's somewhere. I'll find it. I'm going to get my bags and we're going to go. This is heavy, ow. If you hear any yelling and stomping, it's my upstairs neighbor. He always yelling at his kids. Good girl, don't ask me why. So I got these breakfast bowls, meat lovers breakfast bowl, and the sausage, sausage and gravy one. So this is the Br Bremer, I guess, Bremer Bistro um, beef and three bean chili. I got two of them. And then I also got their broccoli and cheddar soup. Even though these aren't like the best for your health, I mean, y'all been seeing me. I've been eating fast food, but I kind of want to go back into getting meals like this. Um, so then I don't spend money, you know? I got more oatmeal. I have like two packets left, so got more oatmeal. Did I get milk? No, because I want to get um the Trader Joe's organic milk. I heard that that's good and that it lasts like a long time because it's ultra high temperature something girl I don't know more protein bars this is their elevation protein bars of the flavor strawberry I'm a strawberry girl and I got the chef's cupboard beef bouillon I needed to get beef broth but they were out of it got this countryside creamery pure Irish butter this is supposed to be like the same thing as Kerrygold I've had Kerrygold and I had this they don't taste the same but like if you want butter for a cheaper price you go with this then i got the stone mill original salt free seasoning blend don't know why i just grabbed it i also got uh this pure aqua sparkling frost black raspberry flavored sparkling water because i've been actually craving soda lately doesn't help that I've been eating the fast food lately, so I was like, you know what? Let me just get that to like curb my craving for it. I got olive oil. I wouldn't have gotten like such a small bottle of olive oil. Oh well, it's extra virgin olive oil. My bad. Um, but these cabinets are big enough to hold like a bigger bottle, so I just have to go with what I could get. And then I got flour. I'm just gonna put it back in this bag, though. Of course, to make my bread. Um. If you have an Aldi near you and if you want to buy like cheap flour and cheap baking goods, go there because um, it's even cheaper than it is at Walmart. So go there for your baked goods. I got me some spinach. I actually have bags of spinach in there that I probably have to throw away. And then I got two salad kits. This one is the bacon avocado ranch chopped salad and the Caesar chopped salad. And I got some steamed asparagus in a bag. I usually throw these in the air fryer. Um, along with these, I throw these in the air fryer, but it's broccoli florette and Brussels sprouts. I also got these um, Kirkwood chicken fries. So you know how the, hold on. So this bag right here is infamous for tasting just like um, Chick-fil-A um, chicken. And I can tell you right now, 100%, it does taste just like it. Not exactly, but it's like super, super close. But if you're someone who likes um, Burger King chicken fries, get the chicken fries from Aldi. It literally just says chicken fries. It's the only one in this color bag. 
get these because they taste just like it. And then last but not least, I have these guacamole slices. That's the grocery haul. Now that costed me how much? That cost me $66. Oh yeah, how much was that broccoli soup? Oh, that broccoli and cheddar soup was $4.99. I might throw some chicken fries in the air fryer because I need to eat some right now because I'm hungry. Um, and yeah, let me just finish, put everything away. Most stuff is away. Um, and then we're gonna get ready. All right, so I changed it to my dress. Quite literally didn't take off my sports bra or my pants, so I look crazy all the way down here. But I'm gonna go ahead and start on my hair. Eh. Yeah. I got the chicken fries in the air fryer right now. Man, I love air fryers. At first, I used to be that person that was so against air fryers, but I've now seen the truth. I've seen the truth. I was debating on doing this hairstyle because I have to put more gel in my hair, but I'm going to clarify my hair tomorrow anyway, so it's fine. Ooh, that's a lot of gel. And definitely need to wash my hair because it's when, like, some of the hair pieces want to get all frizzy and droop down when it's like, no, you kind of need to stay up, please. Like, get with the program, go up with everybody else. Okay, well, that's going to take a minute to dry up and hopefully droop down. But also, this is not how... Maybe I did, like, too much. Yo, yeah, maybe it's something different. Okay, it's something different. I don't know. Ooh, this, you better dry up. I s All right, cue that to the side because I'm about to start my makeup in just a little bit. But also, my chicken fry is about to be done. I just heard my air fryer. Oh my God. Okay, I just got done with my hair and makeup, and I only got like 15 minutes to get out of here. If not, I'm going to have to call an Uber and just go to her place. But uh, let's figure it out. Also, my camera is dying. I'm just trying to update y'all what's going on. I'm freaking out. Oh my God, I'm wasting time. Okay, so I decided to keep the trend up of wearing what I used to wear at Ulta. So I'm wearing this dress, the black version of that gray dress that I showed y'all days ago. Y'all don't remember. Um, and I'm wearing like little heels eh, yeah. there we go okay so i have to go um i'm actually kind of early but it's like i want to keep it that way you know i'm um, sorry you can't see my head anyways so yeah i'm gonna go i can't tell y'all with me but if i can get a little sun sun on my phone then i will if not y'all understand right show Tyler James Williams <laughs> Barbara Howard on the show the legendary show entry Quinta Brunson <laughs> I feel like I'm introducing this is your starting lineup for <laughs> television to have an elementary everybody Okay, so I am back home. I just had to finish filming that short. I technically filmed two shorts um, before I left, but anyways, I hope y'all, I was able to get the clips of tonight up, but oh my goodness. I went and I saw the screening of Abbott Elementary Season 3. To be honest, I actually never watched the show out of jealousy. I was literally telling the person that um, I went with, that was the reason why I didn't watch the show. Um, but I mean, I didn't sign any NDA, so I could tell y'all. So yeah, there was a screening for Abbott, Abbott Elementary, but it's only for SAG members. I'm not part of SAG, but SAG members do get plus ones. So it's not for every single screening, but for most of them, yeah. So my um, classmate, she was actually asking around yesterday, like, oh, was anyone able to go and whatever. I just so happened to hear the conversation about an event and I just asked like, oh, what's going on? And then she told me and I was like, 
I think I could probably go. And I was going to let like my peer, like I want to stay homeness be the reason why I was going to say, no, I can't go. Um, but I'm so glad that I told her yes, because it was so fun. They actually said they don't usually do these like screening events this big. Um, but I guess Abbott Elementary is up for like an award again. And, um, you know, it's kind of my like, back from like the strikes and stuff like that. So yeah, it was, it was really nice. Hold on, let me turn on some lights so y'all can actually see what's going on. Or should we keep it moody? No. But yeah, it was really fun. I hope that one day when I become SAG, I'll be able to, you know, like bring people and stuff like that because that was a very fun experience. So right now I'm going to go ahead and feed the cats because they got to eat. What am I supposed to feed them again? Dry food? Oh, I don't know. This room is a hot, hot mess. I'm only showing y'all the tame part. Actually, this might be the worst part. It don't matter, but um, it was so fun. Today was just, it was so fun. I mean, not as fun, it don't matter, but it was fun, you know? And I feel like I'm getting a little bit better, like a little bit better with networking. Like so far, my go-to to talk to someone is to look at their outfit or look at their hair or if, if they're wearing makeup, look at their makeup and just point out something that I like. Either they will start talking after I give them a compliment or I will start talking because it, because I did meet someone today. Um, I did compliment her top dress. I don't know what it was. Um, it was cute though. And it was kind of awkward because she kind of didn't say anything after. I was like, okay, cool. And then I kind of just turned around and started talking to her, you know. So it's like, it's no big deal. I got her Instagram though, which is cool. Met some other people, but didn't really talk to them. Oh, I met this other guy. Like the, um, one of my classmates, she speaks a different language. So she speaks Spanish, but not Mexican Spanish. And then this other person we met, he's Italian. And then this other guy, I think he's also Italian. It was crazy because like they were speaking different languages, but they understood each other and then I was the only dumb American that speaks one language okay not all Americans speak only one language but this one does and she don't even speak it that good but it also inspired me to go back to like learning another language which I was doing and it's just one language I've been wanting to um, learn for a very very long time and I feel like I made some progress along the way but I don't know We'll have to see. But anyways, while we were there, um, they gave us like um, these little ticket things right here. We had two meal tickets and one dessert ticket. And there was like a bunch of food trucks. So all we have to do is just give them a ticket and they just give us the food. It was free. Um, but all the food trucks closed before I could redeem my last meal ticket. So. But it's okay. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and like kind of tidy up and get this makeup off and whatever. I'm probably not even going to take the makeup off yet. Also, what time am I going to wake up tomorrow? Also, every time I'm like cut off like this, it reminds me of that one woman from the Powerpuff Girls, you know, Sarah Bello, which I should have been her for Halloween. I'm going to do that next year. Um, but yeah, you know, so probably I'm not going to correct myself anymore. Just like, hey, look, this is Sarah L. Miles. This is Sarah Bello. That's what y'all get. All right, let me fix this and figure out what I'm going to do. I need water because I am very thirsty. So I changed my clothes, but I didn't take off my makeup. Um, I'm watching yesterday's vlog because I'm not going to lie. I actually don't remember what happened. So, yeah, I need to watch it so then I could, like, give it a title and, you know, figure out a thumbnail or whatever. But also, um, the person I was with today, me and her, we were talking about, you know, performing and, you know, acting and dancing and stuff like that, whatever. And, um... Um, she was saying how, you know, dance classes are like expensive and I like was agreeing with her and then she kind of brought up, it was like, oh yeah, but you could go to a community college and probably take dance classes there. And I remember that like I did that in San Diego with acting. I took, um, acting classes for a semester. Um, and then I just found a community college close to me and 
it's very cheap for like a semester's worth of classes. So, I mean, this um, semester is already passed, so I can't do it, which is fine. But it's like, wow, I honestly should just be doing this. Because like, I would love, and I mean love to go to dance classes again, but it's like so expensive. Like, I would love to go to Playground. It's literally down the street from the Groundlings. Um, I would love to go to the Millennium. I would love to go to the Snow Globe. But like, those are like $20 a class. And it's like, oh, $20, $20. But it's like... Yeah, but if you want to keep going to class consistently, that's going to add up super fast. So, yeah, I don't know. Yo, like next year, next year or whenever this next semester roll up, I might be doing this. I'm not even kidding. Make sure I'm reading this right. Each dance technique class is a one unit course. Therefore, an entire semester's worth of classes for only $46. Worth of classes for only $46. I might be doing this. I'm like so serious. She's on to something. Hey guys. So um, as you can see, I still haven't taken my makeup off. Um, I did get my vlog ready for tomorrow. So we're good. But I do need to edit this vlog. I'm probably not going to wake up at 4 a.m. again. <laughs> it's okay because like literally tomorrow's going to be a stay at home until I'm done with what I'm doing. Then I go to the grocery store. But that's really it. Um, but I was literally just looking at, like, the information for, um, that community college and, like, their dance stuff. And so far they have classes, um, open for spring semester, which starts in February. And, um, they didn't have hip-hop, which I'm like, dang. But, I was thinking, like, maybe I could be crazy, right? Maybe I could be a little crazy, a little insane, a little delusional for thinking this. I could take, like, three classes. Like, I could take, um, what was it? Modern, ballet, and Pilates. I don't know why Pilates is under there, but, like, I do need to, like, build the core and everything. And it's like, oh, okay, well, three dance classes, that don't sound bad. But all three of them are on the same days. All three of them are on Mondays and Wednesdays. There will be like an hour or two in between each class. But it's like, why would you do that to yourself, Sarah? But like, that's what, mm, like dancing, like, yes, obviously physically I could get tired of it. But it's like, I would not get tired of dancing like all day long. Like I used to dance for like almost eight hours straight, like for a few summers when I was in a dance company so it's like but then again I was like 15 16 years old but I still did it um and it's like I feel like I could still kind of do that now but that's why like you know I would I would like to incorporate the Pilates because you know it's like, okay Pilates really is just to like build you up it's like for me Pilates is to like build up the strong core um, ballet is to really focus on technique and have discipline and modern is to really just let my body move so it actually wouldn't be that expensive for three classes for the amount of classes as for as long as I would be going that's not bad like at all like I could easily like blow like a hundred dollars going to the playground like a few times a month so yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But I'm kind of waiting to see if they'll have like a hip hop class. Because like, to be honest, I'd rather just take a hip hop class because that's where it started was hip hop. But, but also ballet. Like, I remember, not to get too, too personal, but I remember when I was little and um, I was supposed to take ballet class. And then someone decided that I didn't deserve to take ballet class because I was too emotional. I mean, like, yeah, a, a, a kindergartner, pre-K or first grader is going to cry at like every single thing. But yeah, because of that, I was, I won't give details, but yeah. In like simple 
terms I was told I don't deserve it so honestly just saying that out loud I just might sign up for the ballet class but once again I'm just gonna wait right now to see if there are gonna be hip-hop classes because then I might like drop something I don't know well, drop I didn't even sign up for anything yet but anyways like I don't know just talking about it it's making me feel like really happy and stuff and I got the tiniest bit teary eye talking about the whole ballet part so yeah anyways um it's after midnight and I haven't started editing this video and I haven't taken this makeup off so um yeah something's gotta happen we gotta figure it out okay y'all um I'm gonna go ahead and go I'm surprised I have not blotted in my face at all and my makeup still looks really really good Maybelline 4 in 1 oh my goodness all right no for real I'm gonna go and get ready for bed because tomorrow is gonna be a it's gonna be a day I'll tell you what it is tomorrow okay bye